They're getting from A to B more quickly and more reliably. So, NYC Transit President Andy Byford there, and other leaders the spent part of their getting, Sunday standing in front of a sign that reads, the subway action plan is working. But do the riders agree? I would say wait till the action plan is truly working, where there's a noticeable difference before you say things like that. You don't see a noticeable difference? No, I don't see a noticeable difference at all. But I'd say it's gotten maybe a little better. Byford said on-time performance of the subways improved and is 76.7%, which is the best in more than four years. We have spent around 700 million of the 836 uh, to date. Uh, do, do I think it has been well spent? Well, I, I would say yes. But Byford admits to being unsatisfied pushing for closer to 90% on-time rate, as is the case for some other systems nationwide and abroad. He also concedes there is a slide in ridership, down about 5%. We need to look at the reasons for ridership uh, softening and in some cases declining, and it's largely uh, on weekends. That's because those times are when work is being done. Leaders of the Riders Alliance say the Sunday announcement must be seen as only the beginning. Riders and, and everyone are justifiably frustrated with the MTA, but what today's numbers demonstrate is that the MTA is capable of doing better. That MTA news conference ended with a plea for the controversial congestion pricing plan. They want Albany to pass Governor Andrew Cuomo's congestion pricing proposal to OK tolls for Manhattan south of 60th Street, helping raise the billions of dollars needed for the fast forward plan to modernize the subway system. In lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, TV 1055.